Um, I wanted to ask you a question, but I'm gonna ask you first. Uh, can you tell people, maybe explain why you're into the, the horror genre? Because I've seen that's, that's like your go-to storyline thing. Is it something mm -hmm. you've always been a fan of or is it just like, it's just your style? Like you just feel more creative in that environment. What, what's the, what, why, do you, why are you drawn to that, that genre? You know, it's really funny because like when I was a little kid, I was terrified of horror. Like I couldn't watch scary mm -hmm. movies, mm -hmm. but I was always drawn to it and I didn't know why. And I think it has something to do with like, honestly, like where it starts with me and filmmaking is Jurassic Park. Uh -huh. And that's a horror movie. Yes. And just, and that's, I've, I've always been drawn to like that um, exhilarating feeling of just being in like terror, in trouble. Uh, without actually being in trouble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. And so I think a lot can come out of it. I think it's a very untapped genre. Just recently um, with the releases of like a lot of A24 movies, like uh, let's say Babadook, The Witch, mm -hmm. um, yeah. there's been an elevation of horror that yes. wasn't there for a very, very long time before this. Um, just sporadically maybe with like The Exorcist, uh, different mm -hmm movies like that but i feel like it's one of those genres that's still overlooked a lot within award seasons um that a and lot can be horror was never blockbusters right not um really and then uh, would you consider it a uh horror yeah for sure yeah. yeah and that that was like a pretty much a blockbuster you know it was a blockbuster a huge so, budget yeah exactly and that that was something that hasn't been seen until recently mm-hmm so now the money's there, so I'm sure like your interest combined with people are actually taking it a lot more seriously and dumping mm -hmm. a lot of money into it. That's like great. Yeah. Um, well, you mentioned, then, oh, go ahead. You, you mentioned like Stephen King being mm -hmm. a, a big inspiration. What would you say is one of your favorite stories from Stephen King that like just the actually, one that you really <laughs> like? I really love it. Like that's like one of my okay. favorite books. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's wildly different from the movies, but I still yeah. love the movies. Um, but it, I think, is my favorite if mm -hmm. I had to pick one. I actually really love his son, Joe Hill. Okay. I don't know if you know him. Um, he did like Nosferatu and um, I've, I've heard Harsh of that. Box I... and stuff. Yeah. Um, he's very much like his father, where the horror is very present and it's very um, hardcore. Yeah. But um, he has a lot more heart that Stephen King kind of lacks, which is yes. nice. When, when you end on a, like a happier note, like a bittersweet uh -huh. even, it's it feels better. <laughs> it does, I mean, because it, it feels like you went along a journey, but it doesn't yeah. feel depressing at the end. Mm. I mean, I, I, I don't know, Stranger Things wasn't really horror necessarily, it was more just thrilling, but even just like the element of having you know, kids, maybe in like Steven Spielberg movies like Jaws and mm -hmm. stuff, it kind of felt like there was a resolution at the end. And although it was terrible, it they made it out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude, um, Steve, uh, Stranger Things was based on like Stephen King's novels and his feel and Steven Spielberg's no um, yeah. movies and feel. Like that's the reason that the Duffer Brothers decided to make it in the first place was mm -hmm. because they wanted to make it. And yeah. they, were, they were told, um, you don't have any experience in this. And they're like, well, We'll just <laughs> make our own experience then.